day 29, Rapid City and Rodeo. So at the end of this very long and very tiring day, I pass through Rapid City, South Dakota, and there is this place that looks like a perfect stadium to have a demolition derby. So I figured it's Friday night, let me stop and Google what's going on in town. And there is no demolition derby, but there is a county fair that has a rodeo. And I was like, okay, I've got to check this out. So I have to say that people who live on the coasts and especially in the big cities on the coasts, um, you don't really live in America, <laughs> I hate to say this. Drive 100 miles out from any big metropolitan area and you are in a whole different country and it can be a very educational experience to get out and to see what the other half of America lives like. So the county fair is like the regular fair with the rides and exhibits and whatever. Everything is deep fried, deep fried pickles, deep fried ice cream, deep fried cheesecake, and people are gobbling it up. So it's quite clear why heart disease is number one killer in America. And everybody comes to the rodeo dressed up for the occasion. And it's not a costume. Even in everyday life, you see people dressing like that in the shirts and the boots and the hats and the jeans. And everybody gets a program that has the list of the performance and the names of the bulls and the horses that they are riding. And there is a little place there to keep score and people are really into it. They are discussing the techniques and the previous performances. It's like a real actual sporting event. So of course the show starts with singing of the anthem and the flag being raised and then there is a tribute given to the National Guardsmen from South Dakota with the announcer very loudly thinking the men and women of South Dakota Army and then in a much lower voice National Guard and there are a few jokes from this guy who is a rodeo clown and turns out it's not just an expression it is an actual freaking job to be a rodeo clown and then the show begins this is called bareback because you're doing it without a saddle This is called steer wrestling, and in case you're wondering, there is a shit ton of ASPCA regulations on this whole rodeo business. Team roping. Saddle bronc riding. And then there is a little bit of a commercial break. And the rodeo clown is trying to work his magic. Our girls were competing in two events and in both of them they were really not so good. This is called breakaway roping. Tie down roping. Now, um, there was a very nice elderly couple sitting right next to me and after a couple of questions that I asked him about what was going on down on the field, the gentleman turns to me and he says, oh, is this your first rodeo? And I literally didn't know whether to laugh or to cry at this question. Another category for the cowgirls, barrel racing. Well, at least there they weren't too bad. And the crown jewel of every rodeo bull riding now see how the rodeo clown is sitting in this barrel um i actually gained some respect for him because in some cases it must be scary and dangerous as shit so the rodeo that time was also very actively promoting a great nonprofit called canines for warriors that basically matches veterans um, with service dogs. So besides the very amusing promo that you're watching right now, they had the most fascinating person there to talk about the nonprofit. So it's 2012 and the American consulate in Benghazi, Libya is under attack from armed rebels. And there is a CIA safe house nearby with a team of highly trained CIA operatives, they're being told to stand down and not extend any assistance. But they go anyway. 
and they engage in a fight with the rebels and they rescue a few people and bring them down back to the safe house. And then the safe house during the whole night is under attack, which they manage to repel. And a few people are wounded and a few people are killed. And the, this becomes a big story that eventually becomes a book. And a couple of years later, it becomes a blockbuster Hollywood movie. And one of the main heroes of that team of CIA operatives is Mark Geitz, who was there in person and I got to meet him. So yeah, people, if you have a chance to go see a rodeo, take it. You will not regret it.